What a bizarre story. For the second time in less than a week, a cow on the loose near Koolina last night. This time, a cow's life was saved thanks to a family of local cowboys. But the cow's owner believes these escapes are no accident. KITV Force Brenton Noir joining us with the latest developments. Brenton. Yanji, both cows came from the same pasture. Its owner believes that someone's vandalizing his fence, letting them loose. Yet another cow on the loose on Farrington Highway last night. This comes just four days after this scene at the same place near Koolina. The cow's owner believes that someone lifted the fence off the ground and tied it up to a guy wire, allowing the cow to escape. This time, the latest cow to break out of its pasture was eventually wrangled. Carrie Leva was one of the first people on the scene. All the excitement was just, I was nervous. And then once you get into that, that, that mold where you got to get this done, it's like you got to quick action. Carrie's quick thinking led her to call one of the top roping families in Hawaii. That's the Josephs from Waianae's Diamond J Ranch. It's just a matter of having the right people there to handle it. Like the, the time before, Bud had the right people there to handle it. And we, we didn't get there, but he had the right people. But when the outsiders got involved and they know nothing about cows, they got too close to them. That's when the cows started chasing. You got to know what you're doing. Or you can get badly hurt or killed. Stanley Joseph is a 17-time state rodeo champion. His son's a champ, too. They were both on the scene last night. We got there, you know, we know how to get, a, get to them well. You ain't going to press on them when they get hot, you know. When they get hot and they be chased around a lot, that's when they're going to come after you. What we did was I brought a long rope, so we tied it to the back of the Toyota. And my son went on the back, on the back, because we just following, chased her back and forth, back and forth, till she came in range so we could rope her. So he roped her. Minutes later, the team had tied her up, and once her ride came, she was loaded in and safely taken away. And the cow is back with its owner, Bud Gibson. He's asking the public to be on the lookout for anyone tampering with the fence lining the area out near Koolina.